Hey guys, how are you this morning? Uh, we came to a river. Um, I don't know where we are, to be honest. Um, but we are at a river and I'm about to set up my camera and wait for something. So wish me luck. Meantime, Connor is fishing. <laughs> this time fishing, not ice fishing. <laughs> Warm and toasty weather finally arrived in Pinell, Wyoming. Last weekend was glorious and we spent it outside. We even brought the children with us. On Saturday, we went to the Green River. It's swollen and the current is strong. It is gorgeous. Things are starting to get green. You can hear birds everywhere. That is exciting. When I was setting up, I could see Canada geese. By the time I was ready, they flew away. We could hear birds around us. How's it going? Oh, thank you. I need that. Mm, fine. No, they, I wasn't really. I enjoy the warm weather, my children, and the power of the Green River. We change of position because um, a bunch of guys arrive with boats, so we are at a cool place. I don't know whichever side you want, because there were a bunch there too, so I mean, you basically driving, leaving, you tell me what side you want. We went to the boulder fish hatchery, one of my favorite spots for birding. There are always lots of ducks on these two ponds, not to mention the bees and the fact that the children get to run free. I want this side. Okay. Then I'll go down this side. Are there any geese in that side? There are, yes. Yes. Uh, I can see them. And there they go. But they'll be back. Once you blend in. Connor took one pond and I the other. Most of the time, the children stay with Connor. Meantime, I try to blend in with the surroundings so the birdies are comfy and they don't fly away. Hey guys, so I'm on my spot, but there are um, a couple of cinnamon teals, I think so. see them but they are really very far away so um, patience we will pay off I, I hope so <laughs> this day I haven't we haven't been lucky at all but we are outside <laughs> wish me luck guys Connor and I were still looking for something to show up. We enjoy each other and our children. Seeing open water and feeling the sun after a long winter is lovely. We saw a flock of white pelicans flying high above the ponds. They were checking them out. As strange as it might sound, Soble County hosts pelicans every spring and midsummer. I could hear little birdies everywhere, but I couldn't find them. I even moved to the sagebrush, where they flew from one branch to another. The tinier the birds are, the faster they are, and the harder it is to keep up with them. Finally, 
I saw some dogs before Quache found me and scared them away. At least the children had fun. Right there. Oh, yeah. Look, there's Quache over there. Hunting. He's our little hunter. Well, guys, we didn't have any success today, but oh well, that's what well, happens sometimes. <laughs> neither Connor, neither I had success, but we were outside and we were on open water. Yay! <laughs> Let's see tomorrow. Good morning, guys. How are you this morning? Um, as yesterday, we didn't have any success because <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> um, Today I decided to come to another place and uh, let's see what I can find. So, wish me luck. I'm, I'm looking at Canada geese, guys, and dogs, and this is a good place for <laughs> finding birds, I know. <laughs> so, let's be quiet. I was delighted when I arrived with the sunrise to a new fork river access and saw many birds hanging out in the same spot. I knew that was a good place for birding and it didn't disappoint me. I wanted to get ready in a jiffy, but simultaneously, if you move fast, you might upset the birds and they will fly away. It was hard to content my excitement and get ready calmly. But I did it, and it was worth it. Wish me luck, I'm ready. The first thing to catch my eye was a female mallard standing on a delicate piece of ice. She looked so gracious and weightless. The birds start their mornings by taking the sun and cleaning themselves. Perfect time to capture them being mellow. Then. I capture a couple of Canada geese mingling with a couple of green winged teal. That was my first time seeing them. They are so pretty and elegant. When this song Sparrow was checking me out, I relish its little song. He was giving me a private concert. I'm having success, guys. Um, I want to go closer to them, so... Wish me luck. They know that I'm here, so that's and that's good. And they haven't they haven't fly away. So let's see if if I can get closer to them. Cause you never know. Wish me luck. When I got situated in my new spot, I saw a mallard arriving at the river nook. He saw me and was curious about me, so he came closer to me. Then, when he was satisfied of serving me, he quacked and swam away. <laughs> An ear crib showed up and he was diving in the water. It's so wonderful to see them. Meantime I was entertained by him, I saw a couple of burrows golden eye arrive at the scene. I love how birds are obsessed with cleaning themselves. Birds are so elegant. Today is a very successful day. Um, I just found a kingfisher home, so I'm just waiting for them to show up. As I concentrated on the waterfall, a belted kingfisher came to a tree and began singing. It took me a while to figure it out where he lived, and suddenly I saw six or seven of them. They all live by the cliff. So, I gather my stuff and go closer to the cliff. They were patrolling the cliff and taking turns checking me out. Look, here is where the kingfisher lives. Somewhere there. <laughs> I know exactly where. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> so 
it's a tiny, 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 tiny hole, but there it lives. Today was a very successful day and I'm very, very happy and I got to photograph a um, couple of Canada geese and a couple of dogs. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you help us a lot if you do that and leave a comment and a like. And guess what? Guess what? <laughs> My online store is up. Yay! <laughs> Finally, after um, working on it for like a month and a half, I guess, I have it up. Yay! I'm super excited. Uh, you should go check it out. You can um, get tote bags, coasters. Um, you can also get mugs. You can also get... Um, what else you can get? Mm -hmm. I don't remember, but you should check it out and tell, let me know. <laughs> I'm super duper excited, guys. I am. Um, it's. It is. It is a hard work to make an online store, and um, it is a hard work to take photos of little tiny birds <laughs> as well. <laughs> so you should check it out and let me know if you like it. And please, please support my little business, guys. Please, it helps me a lot if you get something from there. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's my commercial for today. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bye. So we were going to church and then Connor got a flat tire. So he's changing it. What's gonna work? Teamwork. What's gonna work? Teamwork. <laughs> Wyoming traffic. As we couldn't arrive to church, we joined Drew and Nate fishing in the same spot as the day before. What is possible? I was out here yesterday, not a lick. Drew was here 30 seconds. Like I said, after I... Now you stuck, buddy. After I lost the first one. took one pond and I the other one, where a couple of buffalo heads were hanging out. The male is exquisite. He has a black line going in the middle of his eye. They are small and have a short bill. We took the children with us. Lola wanted to stay at home. So guys, today was more successful than yesterday. I went and captured really early this morning. I went to my favorite place. Well, every, every single place in Wyoming is my favorite place. <laughs> and we just came back to the same place that we were yesterday. And this time, um, Drew caught three fish, I think. And, um, I was able to photograph a couple of dogs and a loner. So, yay! Hey guys, so it turns out that this day is not over. <laughs> I, 
Connor is grilling <laughs> and we have some friends over but uh, me and Tom Connor was grilling a new bird arrived on my yard I think it's a common red bull but I'm not so sure but I, I was able to take photos of it yay super score <laughs> super duper score <laughs> The last birds that I captured were cousins finches. A hungry flock arrived in my yard, meantime we were grilling. They were brave. They were next to us. We now have an online store where you can bring the heart of Wyoming to your home. You can get beautiful cell phone cases, coasters, tote bags, mugs, throw pillows, and prints with my photos for your walls. You should check it out. Please help me support my little business. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment and a like. See you next week.